Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, let us discuss about Meristem culture. So before entering into the Meristem culture, firstly you have to know what is meant by Meristem. Meristem. So here Meristems will be of two types, Epical Meristem and Lateral Meristem. Okay, so here the Epical Meristem is a tissue in most plants containing undifferentiated cells found in the zones of the plant where growth takes place. So undifferentiated cells are nothing but the meristematic cells only. So uh, by this definition you can understand that where does this meristem present? Meristem will be present at the region where the growth occurs. For example if you see even this mer epical meristem will be also of two types because they are present at the root region and uh, they are also present at the shoot region. Root, reg root and shoot. Root system and shoot system is nothing but the root system is nothing but which is present below the soil and the shoot system are the parts which are present above the soil. So these roots are present as we know that the roots are present in the soil they are called as root system as this shoots that's nothing but the stem branches leaves etc flowers fruits all of this will come under the shoot system only which are present above the soil so if you see here in this case the root epical meristem and shoot epical meristems are the two types of this meristems epical meristems okay so what I have said to you, these epical meristems will be present at the regions where the growth takes place. So if you see here, at these apex regions of these roots, their meristem will be present. So why it is present? The only why in this only region this meristem will be present because at this region only the growth of the root occurs, right? So at this apex region, this sharp end region are known as apex. Hence they are called as ep epical meristems. Okay. So this epical meristems will be present at the edge root, edge region of the root. Why it is present at the edge region? Because the growth normally occurs at their uh, at that position only, right? So this meristems will be present at this edge region only where the growth occurs. So here also, if you see in the case of shoot system, and the shoot epical meristems will be present at the edge of the shoot. Why it will be present there? Because the growth occurs from, uh, you know, the growth begins from there itself only, right? So that's only the region. The meristems are present at the region where the growth occurs, where the growth begins. Okay. So that is only the definition of this epical meristem and this will be your lateral meristem. Okay. So the lateral, this whole is said to be as lateral meristem because at this region, the total growth also occurs. So in the name itself, it indicates that the lateral meristem is nothing but lateral. Okay. So normally, basically, this is about the meristem. So let us discuss about the meristem culture. So what is meant by this meristem culture? Okay, so I have said to you that this is a meristem, right? So normally uh, uh, you, that meristem will be extracted. I mean, for example, if you take shoot apical meristem, this will be extracted. And even in this case also, I'm taking, I'm taking only the shoot apical meristem only for your better understanding purpose. And this shoot apical meristem will get extracted. And this shoot uh, epical meristem will undergo culturing process. So you know about the plant tissue culture, right? So if you know about that plant tissue culture, then only you can understand this meristem culture and you can know the technique also. So the technique, I know even in this video, also I'm going to explain you the technique, but you, it's better to know about the plant tissue culture also. Okay, so this shoot epical meristem will undergo that culturing process. And when it undergoes the culturing process, the finally a product will form. And that product will be also a plantlet. And that plantlet which has been formed finally, will be with free of virus so how this how the plant will be produced so that's the phenomena of this meristem culture so if you see the definition of the meristem culture the technique in which the production of virus free plants will be obtained from the mother plant by taking its shoot apical tip as an explant so you know about the explant what is mean by explant basically it is a part of a mother plant it is a part of a mother you see in this case uh, this will be your Explant. Why it is called as explant? Because it is it is one of the part of your mother plant. Because it this is this bee will get extracted. When this will get extracted, that is called as mother mother explant. So this will be your explant because this shoot apical meristem will get cutted off. When this shoot apical meristem will get cut off, then immediately it undergoes culturing process, which we will do. Okay. So this will be your explant. As I have written here, the shoot apical tip as an explant, the technique in which the production of virus free plants will be obtained from the mother plant by taking its shoot apical tip as an explant. So by this definition, it is clearly understood that here the shoot apical meristem will be isolated. I mean, will get extracted from this total mother plant and that shoot apical meristem will undergo culturing process and forms a virus free plant. Okay. So how this process will be occur will be explained to you later in the diagrammatic explanation okay so coming to the discovery there are two scientists called moral and martin they discovered the total technique of this meristem culture in 1952 and later murashige and skook in 1962 
explained that there are totally three stages which will be involved in this meristem culture so let us learn what are those three stages so coming to the stage one explant may develop into single shoot or multiple shoot and in this in this in this stage what happens is that it requires some of the uh, you know some of the chemicals for its energy purpose and those chemicals which has been required are cytokinins and kinetin this will be a growth regulating hormone and this kinetin is a protein which will be utilized in the stage 1 process and coming to the stage 2 multiplication of propagule okay and with this in this multiplication of propagule for this axillary shoot profileration is followed why it is followed because it maintains higher genetic stability so you remember students higher genetic stability is very much important when you perform a plant tissue culture so this axillary shoot proliferation takes place so this will be your stage 2 and in this stage 2 high levels of cytokines are required this hormone the cytokinin hormone is very much required okay so you know about the plant growth hormones right there will be three types of plant growth hormones auxin cytokines and gibberellins among these cytokines will be required uh, in a high levels require require be high levels remember high levels in the stage 2 so now coming to the stage 3 regeneration of adventitious roots from the shoots okay roots from the shoots so by this you can understand that the so if for example if you don't think this is a mother plant just think that this is a uh, thing which you are going to produce so here firstly the shoot will be produced okay remember one thing when you do meristematic culture only first the shoot will be produced and later the root will be produced from the shoot so uh, you can understand this sentence when i'm when we i'm going to explain you the diagrammatic representation so please wait for it okay then you can understand this stage 3 so by these three stages you understood you can understand that uh, the total plant will get developed at the finally as a product and the product which has been formed is a plant which is free from virus so how it will become free from virus will be given in the prop will be explained properly in the diagrammatic representation only and remember in this stage 3 uh, what are the energy source which are mainly uh, you know which plays a major role in the stage 3 are NAA that's nothing but <coughs> yeah naphthalene acetic acid indole butyric acid which is shortly abbreviated as IBA IAA indole acetic acid and here one of the hormone which is mainly used in the stage 3 are auxins so in this both cytokines will be used and here auxins will be used okay so now let us see what are the components which are mainly used for this meristematic culture okay inorganic nutrients are used organic nutrients are used and make sure that this organic nutrients should be rich in vitamins okay amino acids plant growth hormones and solid fatty aging cell all of these are the main important things components which are mainly used in this procedure or a protocol of this plant tissue culture so now let us see the diagrammatic representation and for your practical purpose i am also going to give you the protocol which is mainly useful for you during the practical purposes and that will be given at the end of the video for you okay coming to the procedure now diagrammatic representative of the meristematic culture meristematic culture and if you see this is a mother plant okay this will be your mother plant and make sure that this mother plant consists of a shoot tip that's something but i have said you at the beginning of the video only right this uh, mother plant consists of the shoot apical meristem and the shoot apical meristem undergoes culturing so in such a way that that isolation will be occurs there's nothing but this you know this shoot apical meristem will get cut off so when this shoot apical meristem will get cut off that process is known as isolation the isolation of this shoot tip occurs that's nothing but the shoot apical meristem occurs and then what happens is that uh, along with the twig we have we will get extracted along with the twig right and in the second step what we have to do is that the twig should be cut off so when this twig will get cut off see here the, i have mentioned here the cutting of the twig occurs so this red color one is known as outer leaf and this is known as twig even uh, if you see in a practical purpose this outer leaf will also be in green in color so for your better understanding i have drawn it in red in color so that uh, the mixing of these colors doesn't happen okay so uh, why i have drawn with the different colors you can understand later so for your better purpose only i have drawn this for better understanding purpose and now this cutting of the twig, twig cutting of the twig occurs so this twig will get removed so when this twig will get removed this will called as explant proper explant so explant is nothing but the part of a mother plant right so this is a part of the mother plant which we have extracted okay that's nothing but which we have isolated and now explant has been finally extracted so we have got an explant so now what this explant what you have to, what we have to do with this explant we have to do surface sterilization for 10 minutes you have to do surface sterilization so you have to take a like you have to take a beaker so within this beaker you have to place sodium hypochlorite solution okay so within this sodium hypochlorite solution add this explants 
okay and now surface sterilization should occur with for 10 minutes so after 10 minutes what we have to do so now this explants should be removed from this sodium hypochlorite solution from this beaker itself and now the removed explants from this beaker should be transferred into another beaker which consists of distilled water which consists of distilled water and why it should be transferred into distilled water because as this explants came from the sodium hypochlorite solution this uh, sodium hypochlorite solution which is present uh, which is attached towards this explant will get removed but the nutrients from that sodium hypochlorite solution will get absorbed by this explants okay so that's something but the rinsing washing of this explant occurs for four times for four times remember okay so this will be the step and coming to the next step what happens is that the explants will get removed from this beaker after the washing after the rinsing of four times of this explants this explants will be removed okay will get isolated from this beaker and then they will get transferred into sterilized petri dish so this is called as sterilized petri dish students okay sterilized petri dish so now what you have to do with this sterilized petri dish so you have to remove this outer leaf so i have said you at the beginning here this is known as outer leaf so why i have drawn with the different colors you can understand now so remember this is the outer leaf and this is the main uh, main explant which we have to perform which is which is mainly useful for this process okay remember this is called as outer leaf this red color one which i have to known as which i have drawn is known as outer leaf that outer leaf outer leaf will be removed by the scalpel will be removed by the scal scalpel is nothing but the sharp object which is mainly helpful uh, for this you know for this process of culturing okay with the help of this scalpel outer leaf will be removed and when this outer leaf will be removed then what will be left over so this is the remaining region called as apex so only the apex will be exposed because this outer leaf will be removed the red color one will get removed and only apex will be left over and now thus this remaining apex or explant will get transferred into ms medium so ms medium is nothing but the the full form of the ms medium is morashige and skook medium so why it is named as morashige and skook medium because this medium was firstly discovered by the morashige and skook itself hence this is called as ms medium so this should be transferred into ms medium and when it gets transferred into ms medium you have to incubate this culture i mean this uh, it will get transferred into test tube normally and the test tube consists of ms medium and this test tube this uh, the, you know this meristem or is this explant should get transferred into this ms medium and now incubation should occur for 16 hours at 25 degrees celsius you know the temperature should be up to 25 degrees celsius and it should be exposed to the fluorescent light okay so after few days what happens is that slowly the shoot system will get developed so what is the shoot system which i have said you at the beginning of the video shoot system is nothing but the area or is the parts which is present above the soil that's nothing called that's nothing but the shoot system so here shoot system will get developed and later this shoot system which is present in this will get transferred into the root development medium so when they will get transferred into root development medium then what happens then the roots will get developed because they are present in the root development medium okay so now here the total plantlet will get developed plantlet remember plantlet because why it is called as plantlet because they are still present in the test tube itself they are they didn't extracted from the test tube as they are present in the test tube they are called as plantlets and now later this plantlets will get transferred into the pots so why they are get why they are transferred into the pots because uh, they are kept under the greenhouse condition for the hardening process so that the virus you know the the virus which is present inside this uh, you know plants will get removed extracted out and will get escaped then later they will get transferred into the pots and they are present in the and they will get exposed towards the greenhouse conditions for the hardening process okay and that will be your and the purpose when you will do practically then the laboratory purpose only will see for you so this will be your about the diagrammatic representation of this meristematic culture and this will be the procedure basically so now let us see the applications which are uh, of applications of this meristematic culture so the first base basic application which you have to know is known as virus elimination so this is the basic thing because why we are doing this peristematic culture for the for the virus elimination only right so that is the one of the major important application which you have to write is known as virus elimination and next my micro propagation and third one is storage of genetic resources and fourth one is plant breeding and fifth one is quarantine so the plantlets or the newly produced plants which i have said you at the diagrammatic representation at the end of the diagrammatic represent, representation plantlets or newly formed uh, you know products will be formed right and the plantlets will be derived from the shoot tip 
or maritime cultures which will be easily accepted by the quarantine authority only. Why they are accepted by the quarantine authority? Because for the international exchange. When they will do international exchange, then the checking, there is no need of checking. Okay. So that's the main thing why of, the, of this application of the quarantine. So I have said you that I will going to give you the protocol, right? So for your practical purpose, this protocol will be much useful for you. First of all, remove the young twigs from a healthy plant and cut the tip portion and next surface sterilize the shoot pieces by incubating it in sodium hypochlorite solution for 10 minutes and next the explants are thoroughly rinsed for 4 times in distilled water. Now transfer each explant to a sterilized petri dish and next remove the outer leaves from every shoot or explant with the help of a scapel and transfer less than only 1 mm length. I forgot to set you this point. As we know that the shoot apical meristems, the size of the shoot apical meristems will be of, you know, large size. Some of them will be a large size and some of them will be of, uh, you know, small size, right? So when all of this process completed and up to here, when this uh, petri dish, after this placing them in the petri dish, sterilized petri dish, then you have to choose only the size which is up to one millimeter in length only because to place them in tissue if the large size of apical bud is taken then the size of the plant which will grow will also be large because the tissue size will be small so you have to take a small size of the you know apical meristem shoot shoot region of the apical meristem so that's what given in that point and now incubate the culture for 16 hours at 25 degrees celsius temperature with fluorescent light and next to transfer them to the root multiplication medium so why they are transferred to the root multiplication medium for the development of the roots so before that the shoot will be developed you know the 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 region which is presented upper the soil is known as shoot region firstly the shoot region will be developed and then only the root will be developed see i am saying you this many times because you have to remember that the first shoot only will get developed later the shoot, root will get developed okay and next the plants are finally later transferred to the pots containing components and kept under the greenhouse condition for hardening process so after this what happens the virus will get eliminated and this is the main application the elimination of the virus is the main application of this meristematic culture so this will be your protocol of the meristematic culture so i hope this video will be helpful for you and if you like this video if you like my explanation just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video just comment in the comment box i am going to clarify your doubts immediately thank you